Okay. The second one is the heir of Balaam. What was the heir of Balaam? Number one, he loved the wages of unrighteousness. He was self-willed. He was disobedient and very greedy. And above all, he spoke out of both sides of his mouth. He would bless and he would curse. And people knew him by that definition. Let's look and see. Okay, 2 Peter 2, 13 and 15. Spots, here it is again, spots they are and blemishes sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Remember, the tares grow among the wheat. Okay, and so we have to, even the apostle John said the antichrists are coming out from among us. And it says they have eyes full of adultery, they cannot cease from sin, they beguile unstable souls. They have a heart that they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children have forsaken the right way. They've gone astray following the way of Balaam, who love the wages of unrighteousness. Okay, look at Numbers 22.6. Therefore, I pray you, this is Balak speaking to Balaam, and he says, curse this people for me, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I'll prevail so that we may strike them so that I may drive them out of the land. Now look at this. I know whom you bless is blessed and whom you curse is cursed. Okay, so Balaam is known as someone who would bless and curse. And yet look at James 3.10. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. What else do we know about the era of Balaam? He was an evil counselor. Someone who gives counsel, okay, for evil. Look at Numbers 31.16. Behold, these caused the children of Israel through the counsel of Balaam to commit trespass against the Lord in the matter of Peor, and there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord. So what is going on here? Balaam knew that God would never curse his own kids. So what he told Balak to do is make Israel break their covenant with God so they won't be protected. You following me? Listen to the last days, what's going to happen. The book of Revelation is telling us he's speaking to a church, and it says, I have a few things against you because you have those that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling, blo to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things, sacrifice to idols, and commit fornication. Now listen, the purpose, not, let's not just look at the doctrine of Balaam, but the purpose of the doctrine of Balaam was to destroy Israel by having them break their own covenant with God. 